Hey, what's going on guys? I am Mega Donsons and we are back with another video and today we are going to be continuing onwards to the Farlands in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So, um, let's go ahead and let's grab our supplies. Um, in the last episode we walked from the spawn point outwards to our, uh, first little, um, camp thingy, I guess, and, um, alright, so we've already got some cooked meat, and, uh, let's carry this stuff with us, and, um, that was actually a chance to drop some stuff, um, don't need that, um, don't need that, Anything else I don't need? I don't need that. Uh, yeah, that's it. Alright. So let's go. Onwards. Walking to the Far Lands. Alright. So in the last episode, um, we spent two nights out. And uh, now we are back. And we are ready to continue onwards to the Farlands. Now, if you didn't see the last episode, um, you really need to see it. Uh, but just in case you didn't, uh, and you don't know what the Farlands are, the Farlands are a mathematical glitch that occurred 12,550,800 blocks in Minecraft away from the spawn point. And what happens here is um the terrain just kind of gives up and just shoots up to these massive walls that stretch almost infinitely and uh there's a video that uh goes into much greater detail about the farlands and about the edge of minecraft and uh link to that vi and um you can go ahead and check that video out um it's called the edge of minecraft uh go ahead and check it out um, and basically, um, in the pocket edition version of Minecraft, um, every exponent of two blocks away from the spawn point that you walk, the rendering of blocks becomes half as precise and doubles every exponent of two blocks away from the spawn that you go. And not only that, but your character also stutters as well as the world. And it becomes harder to move along the axis that you're traveling on the further away from spawn that you go. So, when we get ten, when we get thousands and millions of blocks away, you'll definitely begin to see the stuttering movement. And um, on the positive Z axis and the positive X axis, the farlands generate. On the negative uh, x-axis, it's just ocean, and on the negative z-axis, the farlands are generated as this kind of sky grid, and uh, it's really, really weird, but uh, we're going to the positive uh, z uh, farlands, and we have just now covered about 3,500 blocks and counting. So, we gotta continue going. We gotta get to these far lands. Um, I'm not the only one doing this. Uh, you may have heard of Kurt J. Mack. He's, uh, also doing an expedition to the far lands. And, uh, he did it back in 2011, I believe. And he has just now covered about 3 million blocks in vanilla Minecraft. Or about 25% of the way to the far lands. And he is still traveling to this day. And basically, we are going to try and... He's doing that on the computer version of Minecraft. And basically, we're going to try and do it on the pocket edition of Minecraft. And yes, you can actually do this on your own. All you got to do is type in the command slash TP, then space your your character name, and then 12,550,800, and 
and by um, 100, and then by 0. And type it in, and you will make it, and you will be go to the Firelands. And um, they're very, they're very, very cool. And on the positive uh, x-axis, eventually the Firelands just kind of start break down, just kind of break down and disappear into thin air, leaving nothing but just blank ocean. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, but in the uh, but on the positive Z axis, the fire lines do also thin out, but they kind of morph into this sky grid. And the sky grid and what's left of the fire lines, the sky grid just kind of goes on infinitely. And that's why uh, I'm going uh, this way because it reminds me of the uh, PC version of the fire lines. And, damn, we are covering some ground. I mean, in the last episode, we were barely going. We only made it about 2,000 blocks. But now, I mean, it's, I mean, hell, the episode has just kind of started a little bit, and we're already, and we're already past, well, almost to 4,000 blocks. We are making, we are covering some ground. We are getting to the far lands. Nice. This is, this is amazing. All right, so let's get some... More wool. We need as much wool as we can get. Because without it, we can't save our game, and we can't save our spawn point. And, uh, just in case we die, we don't have to spawn. In case we're millions and, mi in case we're tens of millions of blocks away, in case we die, then we don't have to, uh, then we don't have to spawn all the way back at the spawn point. We can just, all the way back to 0x and 0z. We could just spawn where we last slept, so. That's pretty good, I think. So. Oh, wow, it's kind of turning into this plane. Alright, so there's another sheep. What am I doing now? There's another sheep. And, um. So, yeah. Uh, when we get about four and a half, four point one nine four million blocks away from the vent from the spawn point, uh, the jitteriness and the stutteriness of the player and the world becomes so intense that uh, sections of land stop being solid. Well, the terrain is solid. It's just whenever you're you're crossing in between two block areas like this, you'll just fall right through the vo we'll just fall right through the world and into the void. Uh, once you surpass 4.194 million blocks. So, you actually have to sprint in order to continue moving forward. And, yeah. So, we're going to go on horseback the rest of the way there. And I'm probably going to switch over to creative mode in order to make traveling easier. I'm not going to fly. I'm just going to have the, um, I'm just going to do that in case, uh, I... Um, accidentally jump off the horse and fall through the world. And once I get to 8.388 million blocks out, um, we're going to need to uh, switch over to creative mode because past that point, um, almost every entity except horses and spiders and llamas don't, uh, and just don't, everything else just falls through the blocks and you you can't move any further. The blocks are kind of just invisible and they just don't exist. The terrain is no longer solid. So I'm going to have to fly either fly the rest of the way or just go horseback the rest of the way in creative mode. So past eight million blocks we're going to have to switch to we're going to have to switch to creative mode if we if we want to go further. But that is many, many episodes about Oh, ooh. Oh, nice. Witch hut. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? Let's pile some wool up here. I'm gonna turn the volume on our phone. Ah! Ah! Okay. There she is. She finally decided to come out and play. Are you gonna can we just get to get to do it? Got it. What do we got here? Potion of healing. Oh, 
Oh god. Whoa. Oh, no way. That's awesome. That looks so cool. Alright. We got weakness. Oh, man. Alright. Oh. Oh. I think it might be getting dark. Yeah, it's getting dark. Perfect timing. Alright, so let's go out. Oh, sorry for the lag, guys. Let's go out. Let's get our dirt. And let's survive. Alright, so. I'm too lazy to make a door, so I'll just do this. Alright, so. That is it for night one, and let's go to sleep. Oh, dang it. Come on. Alright, let's go to sleep. Alright, so, next morning. New day. New land. Alright. More terrain to cover. And let's continue onwards to the far lands. So, so yeah. Um, in other news, there's, um, we recently uh, were just hit by a massive, massive, massive firestorm. And I actually didn't go into great detail about this uh, in the previous video, but now I am. Yeah, this, oh goodness, uh, this firestorm that recently hit us was absolutely devastating. And um, I am actually make, planning on releasing a video about it, along with anything else that I may not mention in this video. I'm not really sure. Let's get some pork chops. Mmm, so delicious. So let's um, shear the sheep. And let's keep going. Oh, wow, the grass just changed from like dark green to just just changed from like a brown to just a dark dark green. I like it. All right, so let's continue onwards to the firelands. And yeah, so. I really wanted to get. I really wanted to uh, do this. I'm, I'm. I'm just doing this for no specific reason. Um, I'm just just doing it just because I want to, I guess. Oh, and also, uh, I just recently made a Discord. Uh, so if you want to chat with me, uh, do anything like that, the my Discord server is down in the description. Go check it out. It's it's dope. And, um, also, um, I'm, al I'm also planning, uh, in my high school to be, uh, working with the film department to help make films and things like that, and so you might see some more, um, some more cool stuff be, um, be coming out soon. I'm actually going to be, um, I'm actually hinting at, um, going into a film called, I think, The Cube? Um... Yeah, and it's going to be, it's going to be really fun. We're going to be um, going around campus. We're going to be, you know, doing CGI, all that work, all that funky crap. It's going to be awesome. All right, looks like we're in a forest. I like forests. Forests are nice. Too bad there aren't very many of them left. All right. Oh, wow, that's a, whoa, whoa. Whoa, look at this. Wow. That's amazing. That's beautiful. That's, that's sick. That is not, that looks nice. This is a really cool formation. We got floating islands. That is so cool. Wow. Also, um, I also uh, learned, it's a little bit of old news, but I also learned that NASA plans in the near future 
uh, to actually, and sometime during the 2020s, I believe, to actually give the moon a moon. You heard me. Uh, NASA plans at actually um, directing the redirecting the course of an asteroid and bringing it into the orbit of the moon to give the moon a well a moon, and then we could be able to build a base uh, on the asteroid, hopefully, and even maybe even turn it into a space station. And so we can learn more about our satellite and help uh, make uh, space travel between uh, the moon, Earth, and Mars uh, much easier and more affordable. Because the main uh, goal in space travel is not getting there, but it's mainly how to make space travel more efficient and less cost-worthy. Cost, uh, and the more efficient you could travel in space, the farther you can go, and the more destinations you can reach. Without that, you really can't go that far. Well, you could, it just would cost a lot of money and take a lot of resources, and it wouldn't be worth it. So, making space travel more efficient, and we can be one step closer to exploring the stars. I think that's really cool. Now, there's all these, like, people that always say that we shouldn't go exploring the stars and we should just be staying in our planet and taking care of it and all that. I'm all for exploring and, you know, you know, taking care of the environment and all that. But I honestly believe in the well-being of humans in space traveling to other planets. Because if we really want a long-term survival future, that is definitely what we need to aim for. Sure, it could be plausible on Earth, but to be really scientifically understanding, in science fiction, it would be plausible on Earth, but in reality, it really wouldn't. The only real way we're going to have a really long-term future is visiting the stars, and not later. We should be starting it now, because, well, at the current rate, our future isn't exactly going, looking too bright. With global warming... And, you know, pollution and all that. The planet isn't going to be healthy and, you know, life-sustaining forever. We need to start moving out of our confined little box. <laughs> anyway. I have, wow, I have currently just tracked a little over 3,000 blocks. Last episode, we only tracked about 2,000. This is, this is amazing. Let's not stop here. Let's keep going. At this rate, we'll make it to the far lands in no time. But then again, I gotta travel to the far lands. I gotta travel 12,550,800 blocks. So, I haven't even hit a million yet. So, I should probably just kind of worry about hitting a million first and then worrying about all that. Also, I've been doing a similar thing on the game Survival Craft. Um, for those of you who don't know what Survival Craft is, it's kind of a spin-off of Minecraft. It's got a little more stuff than Minecraft does, but it is not as fun as Minecraft. But the only reason I'm still kind of playing it is uh, because I want to see if the infinite world in Survival Craft is really infinite. And so far, the last time I checked, I have currently covered... A little over 1,300, uh, I've covered a little more than 130,000 blocks in vanilla, in the vanilla game. I have not teleported or anything you can't teleport. Oh, wow. Look at this ravine. No, 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 no. I'm sorry about that, guys. You, uh, you saw nothing. If you tell anyone, I will find you. Anyway, where were we? So, yeah, that's a pretty cool-looking ravine. So, sorry about that, guys, but, um... Where was I? Oh, yes. Um, about the, um... The firestorm. Yes, it is, um... It was very, very scary. Uh, my best friend Landon, he, uh... He lost his house, so we don't. I don't know when we'll be able to um, make uh, more films and things like that. 
but hopefully it'll be uh, sooner than later. But I just gotta kind of give him some time to recover from all this, and heck, we all need time to recover from this. So, okay, so there's the. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go this way to help avoid the ocean because I don't really want to go to the ocean. But anyway, yeah, about survival craft. Yeah, I have currently covered about 1,300 blocks in the game. And it has definitely been a journey, not to lie. But yeah, I may do a video about it sooner or later, I'm not really sure, but um, yeah. Put a congrats in the comment in the comment section if you uh, if you approve that because yeah, it took a while. It took a few months to actually get there. Um, but then again, I wasn't playing every single day, so it may have taken me. It may have taken longer than it should have. But you know what? Screw it. It was it was a very fun journey, very very fun. So let's just keep going, and, and hell, maybe we'll even um, encounter a ocean monument. You never know. You never know what we'll encounter this far out. Alright. We are really going far. Holy moly. We are one point, we are 8,000, no, we are, I'm sorry, 5,800 blocks away, and counting. Of course, I could walk over there, but where's the fun in that? This is going, I'm going fast enough just here on my boat. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the video, um, and when we reach land, um, I'll be back with you guys. So, I'll see you when we get there. All right, here we are. We are back in... <gasps> oh, wow. Look, it's a new moon. That's wonderful. I don't know why new moons keep looking like that. I mean, the new moon's supposed to be... You can't see the moon. It's looking like the dark side of the moon lasts... Doesn't last as long as the light side. Ah, what the... Ah, skeleton. I'll get rid of this guy. Get over here. Did you can do that to me? Fight me. Fight me, I barely took any elf and they would fight me. That's what I thought, you're dead. Alright. Alright. And I think this is where we're going to end the episode off, so... Let's go ahead and... Block that off. Let's get the torches. Alright, let's put down our crafting bench. Uh, actually, do we need to craft anything? Oh yeah, we're, yes we do, yes we do, so we need the crowding bench. So let's get some pork chops in there. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna wait for this to cook. All right, let's pop this in there, and yeah, we'll end the episode off here. So yeah, that's about it. I really hope you enjoyed this. This has been absolutely fantastic. I've I've had so much fun walking so far, and um, yeah, I will see you in the next episode, guys. Bye.